Good morning, I've got a song. Resist the devil, he will flee, he cannot win. As you surrender, as you separate from sin, listen to convictions, they come from within. Ask God to help you, cause you must abide in him. Yeah, you gotta abide in the vine, gotta abide in Jesus. Our works are filthy rags, just abide in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he does all of it. He does it. He produces the fruits. He's doing the good works. He's changing you, you know, creating me a clean heart, O oh Lord, and restore a right spirit within me. And take not your Holy Spirit from me, Lord. Yeah. Um, resist the devil. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yeah, he will. And don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Stay on the straight path today. Do what you can today. Um, set your affections on Jesus today. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Keep doing it. Keep praising him. Keep praising him so you can get in his presence. Yeah. So you can stay in his presence. That's how it starts. The spirit loves it. Praise him out loud. Be doing that. Praise him out loud. Get rid of any kind of um, stuff you're looking upon. Um, make sure there's nothing in your feed. Um, nothing, nothing in your playlist that's mediums, psychics, new age stuff, um, secular music, get rid of all of it. It'll help. Don't watch horror. Don't watch anything. Get rid of that stuff. Praise God. Stay in the word. So do the spirit. And you're going to start seeing a change. Listen to your convictions. Let the Lord bring these things up that are coming out of your heart. Cause out of the heart come the issues of life, right? Um, the hearts are wicked. Who can know it? Right. God knows it. He's going to bring it to the surface. And this is what you got to do. You got you to gotta acknowledge it, say you're guilty, confess it, ask for forgiveness, ask him to deliver you, and you keep going. He's going to show you what these things are, and he's going to root these things out of our heart. That's what we do, and, and he does it. Abide in the vine, and he produces the fruit. Um, you don't need to worry about it. He's going to prune and do some things, and you're going to go through some fiery trials, and he's making all things new. And you just got to worry about right now, what is he making new in me right now? What needs to be perfected by his grace right now? That's the grace. He didn't have to send his son to die on a cross for us. Um, and pay the full penalty, remission of sin. Penalty paid. The debt is cleared because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, right? So if you believe that he died and was buried and on the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. And if you keep these things in memory so you don't believe in vain. You don't want to just read the scripture and then go on with your life and just say, I believe. You got to keep these things in your memory. Keep him in you no matter what you're going through. Let him continue working these things out in you. Yeah, stay in the vine. Stay in the vine. He's doing it. He's producing it. And you'll start noticing a lot of changes. And if you're still sensitive to the Holy Spirit conviction, that's a good thing. That means you're not reprobate. That means you didn't sear your conscience. Yeah, you haven't been seared. You're not reprobate. Um, you're not given over to a strong delusion. Um, you're still sensitive to the Holy Spirit convictions. And he hears you. Um, yeah, so listen to them and do what the word says. Everything that you read in the scriptures, do what it says. If he shows you one thing, do what he says. Just start coming out of the world. Separate yourself. Keep yourself unspotted from the world. Start coming away and ask him for help and he'll help us. Because again, our works are filthy wrecks. It's not our own um, going after our own righteousness like the Pharisees do and the legalists. We're not going after about um, trying to establish our own righteousness and trying to work our way into heaven. You can't. You can't work your way. He does it. But there is a real change. There is a real change because he creates a new heart in us. So depend on God. Believe that. Believe what he says is true. That is what he does. It's definitely what he does. And he's doing it. So start now. Start now. And look in that playlist and make sure you guys don't have anything about psychics and mediums and new age and crystal balls and all this kind of all this kind of darkness. Get get it out of there. Get it out of there because it's an open door and those spirits will um, be drawn to you. So whatever you're feeding on, what you're sowing to the flesh, that stuff that's spiritual is going to be drawn to you like an open door. And um you want to open the door to Jesus when he knocks. You don't want to open the door to the devil. We got to close some doors. So let's close some doors. Let's start now. Close some doors. Go clean. Clean it up. Go close them doors. And um, so so the darkness can flee because a lot's going to leave. Because a lot of spiritual soul ties and transfers and attachments come with that stuff. Whether it's on your playlist or it's in your house. Get rid of that stuff. Check out what's on your YouTube. Look at your accounts, your social media stuff. Make sure there's nothing that is deception, nothing that is darkness. Start there. Get rid of that stuff so those doors can close and those ties can be broken. And then 
yeah, then you continue. That's what you got to do. We can't go back and forth. We got to stay in truth. It's all about the truth because you shall, you shall know the truth. Listen, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yeah, the lie cannot make you free. It'll just keep you in bondage and captivity and blind you and keep you um, heavy. And um, yeah, and it'll keep you feeling separate, separated from God. Um, we have to make our counsel the Lord. We have to consult um, the scriptures. The Lord has to be. The Lord is my counsel. Um, you know, as we don't want to break the first commandment, love God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind and might and everything that you are. And um, we don't want to put all this other stuff before him. So when you put him first and say, I'm getting rid of this stuff, I'm not going to look upon it no more. It starts there because what we're letting into our eyes and ears. So we're like, Lord, my temple's for you. I'm going to look at stuff that's true. I'm going to keep my mind and my thoughts and everything um, that I'm looking upon and choosing to to look upon, choosing to listen to. It's going to be about you from now on and um, root out everything that's not of him. And that's a good start. That's a good start right there, okay? All right, God bless you in Jesus' name.